I'm actually really excited about service, <laughs> which um, I never thought I'd get to that place. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Very, very busy service, I imagine. It's going to be tough. Dishes tasted and tweaked, they can make no more changes as they prepare their mise en place. This is a different thing now. This is them using their imagination and to working that into a service and to being organized enough to deliver that plate after plate after plate. You know, Luke's not going to let anything go out that isn't, you know, perfect. He's going to make sure that it is consistent and that it is right because at the end of the day, it's his restaurant they've stepped into. Early evening and the restaurant is soon filled with paying diners. And three of South Africa's top food critics. Tasman Simon is a top culinary consultant, chef and food journalist. Abigail Donnelly is editor of South Africa's most revered restaurant guide, Eat Out. And Michael Oliver is one of Cape Town's most respected food and wine commentators. Of course it's important that the critics coming this evening are impressed. Running a restaurant like this, whether it's an evening surrounded by the MasterChef experience or a normal evening, you're always under scrutiny. So I want to make sure that all the plates go out perfectly tonight. I would love the herb seared tuna. Fantastic. Scallop? Yes, sir. Lastly, for you, man. The pork belly is absolutely fantastic. The creamy. So, I'll do that. Thank you. <laughs> all right, fantastic. Please enjoy your evening. Thank you. Check on three tuna, follow three scallop, follow three pork, follow one lionfish, two duck. OK. As the orders flood in, the finalists must cook quickly and with great precision. Six tuna, follow five scallop, one foie gras, follow five pork belly, one quail. Yeah. Neve's tuna dish will be served first. Only when that is complete can Diana and Adele begin their dishes. You need to kind of keep a count in your head of what's coming, all right? OK. OK, how long are the tuna, Neve? One, one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes. I have four uh, scallops in order, but I um, can't start yet, so it's going to get busy very, very quickly. OK, Neve, come on. We need yes. to go quickly. Hey, chef. I just want to please them, and I want to do his dishes justice, so... That's my main aim. Where's my teaspoon? Neve, you need to finish those quickly now, eh? Yeah. How long does it take usually over there? Like three minutes. Soon the restaurant is full of discerning diners. Check on. Four bread, four amuse. Follow four tuna. Follow three scallop, one foie gras. Follow four pork. Follow four duck. Beautiful. You just need to speed up now. Yes, I will. Yes, chef. OK. Service, please. Let's go. The environment in here doesn't give any privacy, doesn't give any room for error. Everyone is looking at you. I know professional chefs who probably wouldn't step foot in here for fear of failure, so it would be hugely daunting. With Neve's seared tuna dish reaching the first diners, time for Diana to step up to the plate. Tuna are out. Check on. Three bread, three amuse, five course, two tuna, one pickle fish, follow, two scallop, one foie gras. We chef. We chef. So you're going to get busy now. You've got to move with purpose. Ching, 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 like that. Meanwhile, the diners are assessing Neve's English mustard, sushi rice and raw apple roll, served on a bed of savoy cabbage with cucumber and juniper dressing. The side dish was fantastically fresh and gorgeous, not necessarily the perfect accompaniment, but on its own, perfectly standalone. For me, I thought I thought there was a there was a synergy between the two. You know, the key focus was the apple, and that was the hero ingredient. I think it got a little lost, although it did contrast beautifully with that creaminess of the of the dressing. Okay, two scallop five course ready to go. Yes, chef. Very nice. With Neve's dish proving popular. Responsibility to keep service moving now falls to Diana. Chef, I have more beans for you, sorry. It's three beans on this, you got, yeah? yeah? Come, just put the beans on and finish the plate. Sorry, Chef. Otherwise, it's going to be painful, eh? Sorry, Chef. Away, two scallop tasting. Get your next three scallops on, eh? Yes, I'm getting that on. It's uh, fast now. I need to get the flow. Hey, come, you need to be faster, eh? I need this up now, eh? The yes, scallops chef. are getting cold. Yes, I'm, I'm bringing it up. 
With the scallop dish reaching the diners, Adele is now facing many orders for the next course, pork belly. I have to do five. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, I need those five up in literally in four minutes. I need five of them on the pass, eh? Otherwise, we're going to be behind. There's too much colour on a couple of these. I need to take two out. They're too dark. Sorry, chef. Let's get another two on. I don't want them dark like that, eh? Can we please get this pork on the plates now? I need this food up now, please. Three scallop going table two. Please, chef. Yes, three scallop going table two. Let's have it. Following Luke's advice, Diana has removed the ginger from her pickled cucumber side dish with avocado and lime puree. But has she done enough to impress with her creation? I found it delicious. I found the lime there. It was nice and fresh. And I loved the delicacy of the dish. This was a happy time for me. The main area was, was quite warm and inviting, but the coolness and the crispness of that side dish just reminded me that you know, scallops are from the deep ocean. And for me, that temperature, the switch between the two, just ignited the dish for me. I thought it was superb. Back in the kitchen, and Adele must avoid being overrun with orders. Yeah, they've all come together. I knew it had happened. It was too quiet. I need some more crackling on this pork belly. More crackling, please. Thank you, Chef. OK, let's go. We need to move on them. Your garnish is already. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Table 40, Table 40 yeah. Now your last Adele improved her dish by including a pork roll and replacing the blue cheese with a lighter dressing. These are fiddly. Hoping that her apple ravioli with grilled scallop will pass muster with the diners. I adored this dish. I thought it was absolutely very clever and very, very well executed. It really was just fun to look at. I didn't quite expect it to be as gorgeous to taste, but as soon as I drew it into the main dish, they parted themselves beautifully together. The whole thing for me worked perfectly. Good, tell. We've got your ribbon now, eh? OK, two scallops going, table five. It's good now. I got the hang of it. It's always by the end, you know, you get the hang of it. OK, you got four more tuna away. Not yet. Four. Not yet. In yes. about five minutes, and then you're done. Oh. Basically. OK, thank you. With the amateur cooks all making it to the end of service, Luke reports back to Nick and Dylan. They all kept up. They all did their role. They all did their job. I think it was just enough pressure for them to be able to, to perform, but not too much that they just started folding up. Yeah. And, and did you find, were you happy with the, what they sort of contributed to the dish? The three contestants, for me, are all... They've all got good strengths. And, and, and have all got small weaknesses. Okay. I think Adele's accompaniment was the standout of the three, and, and I knew that as soon as she started plating. I agree. He did a hell of a day's work. I mean, to come in here and to do this, like, we really are standing back and going, geez, they're kind of incredible. But we, we do have to get down to the nitty gritty, because it is the final. That was an amazing service. I really enjoyed it, and I think, I think I did justice to the dishes, and of that I'm very, very proud. Feels amazing. I think I learned something for the final that I have to stay focused and to stay calm. I'm feeling good. I really enjoyed that. That was the most enjoyable restaurant service I've had. So, respect on. Gotta clean up. But the critics and diners are also waiting to give their final opinions on all of today's performances. The chefs today haven't looked like amateur chefs to me. These are the kind of dishes I would expect from high-quality, well-trained, well-experienced chefs. To be able to come from the outside, have no experience whatsoever, and to be ex uh, executing at the level of the desk kitchen uh, was phenomenal. I mean, hats off to them. I think they've done brilliantly. There really has been a beautiful flow and synergy between Luke and how they've interpreted their side dishes into it. Yeah. I'm absolutely moved. I think it's a special experience for not only them, I'm, I'm personally proud of, of them having not met them before. I feel like I really know them through <laughs> their food tonight. That's amazing. Guys, oh, how was it, eh? Oh, that really? was amazing. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Thank you so much. Really? Good. I think mean, you can be proud of yourselves. Go back to Ireland. Strong. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Cheers, eh? Thank you. Cheers, Nate. With the South African challenge complete, they now head home for the last leg of the MasterChef final. I can honestly say, yes. we've got the making of a great final. <laughs> Diana had a great day yesterday, and today, you know, it's Adele is back in the limelight. It's still anyone's race, and I mean, they've just had so much access to influence that I'm really interested to see what they're going to cook when we get home. I think we're going to have a really hard job on our hands to find the winner. I think I finally got confidence in myself and I could win this and it's all within my grasp and I'm so excited about that because it will give me the opportunity to follow my dream. I want to win this. I want it and I actually believe that I can do it at this stage. I really believe that if I put my mind to something and I really keep focused, I think I can, I can achieve it. I think the thing that hit home most of all today, it's the last task for us outside the MasterChef kitchen. And you're know, thinking about that this morning, it made me really sad. Um, it's just, it's been a fantastic experience, really amazing. I've learned a huge amount, absolutely huge. Um, and I hope it's me who takes home the trophy. Yeah, I'm feeling brave and confident. Yeah.